of the over 16,000 prison wardens, Patrick Kimathi stands tall as a man with a mission. A mission to transform the disciplined forces by empowering them on HIV and AIDS issues. Probably being the first uniformed officer to appear on public television and declare his HIV status, Kimanthi hopes his story will impact on others. I was infected while I'm saved. It happened that I met with my former girlfriend, whom we had departed. It repressed. Na ika repress tukakula soda na sababu tuna ninakaa kwa kambi nikamwambia let's go twende uone mahali ninaka. Kwenda pale I was tempted. Being a junior officer at the prisons department, Kimanthi is a leader in every aspect of the world. He braved stigma and is today among one of the lucky officers to be relocated to the newly built prisons flat. He says declaring his status may have contributed to the decision by his superiors to relocate him to the Nairobi West prison's flat. Prior to that, he occupied this house where he says sanitation is a huge problem. It also presented an imminent danger of contracting opportunistic infections. Sometimes there are some snakes in those houses. You can sleep at night, you, 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 you just step on a snake inside that mud, mud house. It, it happened that my, my three-year-old boy came to visit me with uh, his mother. And then he had uh, that uh, nature call. So I took him to the toilet. What he told me, he told me, my father, yeah, I see this, uh, they are naked. Father, I cannot go. Family has been later. Hatan is later, while she is his colleagues fondly refer to him as Mwalimu, a Swahili word for teacher. This is because he doubles up as a warden and also as a counselor. He also takes advantage of his job as a prison warden to sensitize prisoners and encourage them to get tested for HIV. The prevalence rate of HIV, however, remains high within the prison walls, something he attributes to congestion and overcrowding in housing for both the inmates and wardens. If an officer goes to night shift and he has left his wife there and the other officer here, he has gone somewhere, he has taken beer, he is here now when he comes and he, he just lies uh, uh, on top of the, somebody's wife. Do you think that wife will shout? Going by the data that we have from our 13 sites, it shows that the prevalence rate in our institutions is slightly higher than in the general populace. And this gives us a percentage of about 9.2%. For Kimanthi, Coming out publicly is probably the best thing he has ever done. In part two of this series, find out how he proposes to bring his seniors into VCT centers without the fear of breaking the ranks and compromising his job. Katina Chenga for Channel One, It Begins With You. Ni kama Mungu alikuwa akingojea ni waache positive aninue anifikishe mahali in fact if i can meet somebody kama mkubwa wa jela ambao ungekuwa meet eh, nashukuru Mungu to Kimanthi publicly declaring his hiv status has been a blessing in disguise he has acquired a small office in Magreza house which he would otherwise have not had here, he gets to spread messages on HIV and AIDS. As a junior officer, he has, however, not been able to achieve much in sensitizing senior officers. We don't have services that are only for prisoners or for staff. And we encourage and we ensure that the way the services are available in our district, provincial hospitals 
are exactly what is offered within the prisons. If the government can have VCTs in those institutions, they just locate somewhere and they say this one is for senior officers. It's not discrimination because we want to reach these big people and let those senior officers there be with the senior counselor. Surely we can combat this the disease. Of the 93 prisons in the country, only 10 of them have VCT centers. This has curtailed the testing of remandees who spend years in a correctional facility. The question of what next for prisoners once tested and found to be positive also presents another challenge in mitigating the spread of the virus. When we go for these outreaches, it's always very overwhelming for the prisoners. They really want to access the testing and counselling. They really want to know their status. So I want to believe that what we have done so far is that we have encouraged our staff to participate fully. When somebody is tested and is HIV positive, there is one part of counselling known as post-test counselling. It should be followed, or she should be followed. If she has started the uh, IRF, there is this awareness counselling. Although life within the prison walls has improved tremendously, remandees continue to face a different type of challenge. Gross violations such as sodomy among prisoners is a reality they have to grapple with. Uko na ukweli, iko watu wanaitua mende na wengine wanaitua watoto. Kama hawa watu, na ukweli hiyo kitu inatendeka, utawesa kuwasaidia kondomu, wawesa ku kujijiga na fisi zao. Unakuta wembe moja tunanyolea kawa tukuni. Saki tukayo ineza tuambukiza ukimu. Although finance remains a major problem in addressing HIV in prisons, Kimanthi hopes by eliminating stigma within the prison walls where little is known, he may improve the quality of lives of persons living with HIV in prisons who continue to suffer in silence. Ikiwa ninaweza kwa sponsored. A forgotten generation remains hidden behind these gates. As the world continues to celebrate significant gains in the response to HIV and AIDS, Kimanthi wishes their cry will be heard. Kathina Chenga for Channel One, It Begins With You.